Hello and welcome. I'm Russ. I'm a news reporter for today. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Um, we're going to talk about Nancy Pelosi and her 25 minute meeting yesterday. We get to discuss Donald Trump and his executive order for the payroll tax cut. And also, COVID 19 cases are on the rise, but fatalities are not decreasing as expected. I hope you guys are having a great Friday, and this is the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of August 28th, 2020. As I discussed earlier, Nancy Pelosi had a 25-minute meeting with the White House negotiation team for the stimulus package so they can make advances on it. Well, their meeting, like I said, lasted 25 minutes. They made a little bit of progress, but not, a, but not enough to make a big difference on the, next, the stimulus package. And as far as Donald Trump's executive order for the um, payroll tax deferral, what happens there is is you, sh- you think you'd be seeing a, a nice increase in your paycheck, but what you don't realize is, is companies are not willing to participate in this executive order because basically they do not wish to give their employees a bigger tax bill when they go to file their taxes next year because this is what the payroll tax deferral will do. And if you remember the Democrats, they passed a, they had a Heroes Act out there. The Republicans had the Heels Act out there. And then, as you notice, the Heels Act also went from $1 trillion to half a, tri- half a trillion dollars. And then the Heroes Act started at $3 trillion, went up to $3.4 trillion, dropped down to $2.4 trillion, and now has decreased another $200 billion to $2.2 trillion, which is the actual price of what the CARES Act was when it was passed in May. So let's just hope that uh, they can do something good. And the Republicans want to pass a smaller bill. I don't have no details on this this bill just quite yet, except for it is a $500 billion bill that they want to pass. The name of this bill has not been disclosed, and the details of what's inside this bill has not been disclosed as well. But when it does next week, I will be sure to inform my viewers because they need to know. That's just how it's got to be. And while Trump was in the Senate, he said that he had issued four executive orders, which we know what they were. There's the unemployment, there was a pa- the payroll tax deferral, and the other ones that I discussed in uh, earlier videos. Well, he also went on to say that he's also planning to pass more executive orders, but he has not given any details of what these additional executive orders are going to be or what it's going to pertain to. Because as we know, his term is coming up here to end pretty fast around November 3rd when the new election day is. Uh, let's see here. I, I, I hate to, uh, the, I hate to give, say this, but as far as the economic data goes, this month is going to show the Congress exactly how bad the economic data really is because bad economic data is going to produce bigger and faster processing stimulus packages to get out to the people. So in other words, the worse we do, the more the more faster they're going to get off their butts and actually send us out stimulus money to keep us alive, we hope. We said we hope because as we found out so far, the, the Congress don't care about anyone but themselves because the Senate's on vacation until the 7th of next month and the House of Representatives is on vacation until the 15th of next month. So the only person that stayed behind was Nancy Pelosi. And Mitch McConnell basically has been staying missing in action this whole time since their first vacation in July. And let's see here. Like I said, the, a, bad, a, a bad economic report is going to produce a bigger stimulus package, which will be helping out for the people. In August, August will be the first month that will be reported without any stimulus money going out to the people in the form of unemployment or any other funds. And August is a very critical month to show Congress how bad things are getting and that the people need to have stimulus. We need to be stimulated, damn it. Stimulated, I say. <laughs> We're not stimulated at all. No, that's not good. And 
they said the um exec, uh, sorry president trump's executive order for payroll tax cut is not a, is not a tax cut it's actually a tax deferral for it to become a payroll tax cut congress has to pass it as a rule of legislation and they have not so it's just a payroll tax deferral and businesses and companies are not really participating in this because as you've noticed your paychecks have not gotten bigger they've stayed the same and i think i already just covered this but they don't want to participate because they don't want to give their employees a bigger tax bill when it comes to filing taxes next year so basically this executive order is a big old dud and I'm glad it sort of is because I wouldn't want my Social Security and Medicare taxes to be taken out of my to be left in my paycheck because that's that would really hurt the Social Security Administration as well as Medicare as I discussed yesterday in my earlier video. And on the the funny thing is, is on the last day of the GOP, President Trump had a basically did a 70 minute um, speech where he basically seemed to be out of phase for the first 30 minutes of it then he sort of got into the beat of it and then he started going off on the democrats and he also made a lot of comments and one of the comments he made which i, I think is sort of laughable be, laughable because he actually did not do this was one where he said that he has done more for the african-american community than any president before him with the exceptions of abraham lincoln now, I don't know what he's actually done for the African-American community at all, besides nothing. I mean, if you guys actually know what he's done for, you, for the African-American community, please leave it in my comments, and we'll see how it goes from there. But, like I said, I mean, most of Donald Trump's comments are basically derogatory comments towards the Democrats, and basically a bunch of lies, because this man apparently does not know how to tell the truth but that is my opinion you may have a different opinion and if, if you do you're more than welcome to have it and also if you actually like the content in my video please smash that thumbs up button and give me a like and if you wish to see more of my interesting content please hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on and you will get my broadcast every day until it stops or i change my broadcast to something else that will actually help the people as well at least hopefully this whole stimulus thing and COVID-19 issue will go away. Well, I hope, because they're still working on a vaccine for it. And I'm hoping that the America, and I'm talking about the people of America, not the actual country, because the people make the country. So I hope all the people of America will actually endure all this hardship, because as, as you can see from my background, most of my background is with the raft these rafters above my head and a cement wall behind my back because I live in an unfinished basement and it has no heat no air conditioning which is fine but that's besides the point I want all the American people out there to know that I am pulling for them and I wish them the best I want them to stay safe and try to put food in their, their stomachs when they can and I hope this whole eviction thing that is has not stopped yet because I discussed his executive order on the executive uh sorry on the eviction uh thing in an earlier video as well um so i hope everyone doesn't lose their houses i do know one thing that i'm gonna make a comment on before i let you guys go is the simple fact that how how basically remember how donald trump enhanced it basically extended the unemployment by taking 44 billion dollars from the the, the Federal Emergency Management Association, or FEMA for short, and to extend the unemployment. And as you notice, nowadays we've had what a lot of we've had a few hurricanes hit and wipe out some houses. We've had wildfires come and also do the exact same thing. So can we say thank you to Donald Trump for allowing more people to become homeless and more people to die because of all these natural disasters besides COVID nineteen? If we can, please, please say thank you, Trump. That's all I can say about that one. So until, until next time, until my next broadcast, like I said, please give me a like. And if you like my content and subscribe, if you want more, 
So until then, you guys have a fabulous Friday and stay safe out there and put some food in your stomachs when you can, if you can. Until then, I will basically wish you guys a, a great Friday night.